Unit 49, a terrific teacher. Andrew, I'm having a few problems with modal verbs. Uh, don't worry, Emily. They're a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. It's simply a question of time. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Can you help me then? No problem. We'll start with one of the most common verbs. The verb can expresses ability or permission. I can play tennis or can I go with you? And what about may and could? Use may or could for permission. May I come in or could I go with you? Right. Aren't may and could also used for possibility? Yes, that's right. It may rain. But for remote possibility, you could use might. It might also snow. And what do I use for obligation? You must use must or have to. I must catch my train. Or, I have to catch my train. Right. And what about should? You should use should for giving advice and recommendations. You should drink more water. And, you should try the new Chinese restaurant. Will is for the future, isn't it? Yes, will is the best form of the future in all cases, even for the first person. I will see you tomorrow. And what about shall? Shall is for making suggestions and offering help. Shall we have a drink? And shall I carry your bag? Oh, thank you, Andrew. This is a very interesting lesson. You are a terrific teacher. I I'm going to make a frame for this lesson to keep forever. Can I also have a photo of you to put it in my frame? Let me get the frame for you. Then I can dedicate it to you. To my best student, with love, from Andrew. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Andrew.